Humanity as a species fears the unknown. As such, when members of our race appear and act abnormally, we dedicate large amounts of resources to understanding the inner workings of their sick minds. So ladies and gentlemen, I have a treat for you. BEAR WITH US AS WE TRAVEL INSIDE THE MIND OF GOD'S DIRE MISTAKE! I'm a rapist. What is that? Who did this? Charles drawing? Before I begin, I want to make something very clear. I don't want any transphobia in the comments. I don't want to see anyone saying, Oh, Kevils is a man. Kevils is a man. Kevils is not a man. She's a very, very ugly woman. Now, if you watched my last video on Kefels, you may have come away thinking, wow, this Kefels character is a real greaseball cunt. But what if I told you that that was just a taste of how bad Kefels really is? On August 5th, Kefels was swatted in Ontario, Canada. The police knocked down her door and pointed a gun at her face. When I went into the hallway and then saw that assault rifle, I screamed and I, I thought I was going to die. Wait, wait, okay. Let me redo that. On August 5th, the police knocked down her door and pointed guns at her while she was walking down the hall. <laughs> they did not go into my apartment until after I was in custody and they had a search warrant signed. Okay, okay. One more time. One more time. On August 5th, the police knocked on the door, asked Keffels to come into custody with them, where she stayed for a few hours before going home. Did I mention that the police were also highly transphobic, using her dead name? Wait, wait, that's not your dead name. That's your dad's name. I think we've gotten our wires crossed. When her father was dying of brain cancer, he flew her to Thailand and using all of his life savings, got her the best possible back alley reassignment surgery with only the very best of unlicensed medical practitioners. Immediately after the surgery, she abandoned her father's name and took her mother's last name, which if I were him, I'd be pissed. He wasn't though because he had fucking terminal brain cancer, probably barely capable of function. She's got siblings too, really cut them out of the fucking will, didn't you? I want to honor his legacy, so over here, do cancer charity fundraisers. Not gonna take his name though. That's going too far. Not only does she refuse to take his name, but the name of the man whose dying wish was for her to have a happy life is actively insulting to her. Really tells you all you need to know about the bitch, doesn't it? <laughs> Look, I'm not saying that she may or may not have manipulated her mentally ill dying father into spending the last of his money on an expensive unlicensed medical procedure, effectively stealing the rest of her family's inheritance and life insurance money. But what I am saying is that she raised over $100,000 for a legal case against transphobia in the Ontario police force, only to spend it touring Europe on a holiday. Swatting is bad, we can all agree on this, but I don't have any sympathy for someone who goes on social media and essentially dares people to swat them. It doesn't help when she talks about how in danger she is and how she needs to go into hiding, only for her literal next tweet to just be. My name is Walter Hartwell White. I live at 308 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 871. After the swatting, Keffels went on a warpath against Kiwi Farm, a website that engages in evil acts such as doxing and swatting. Keffels got pretty s -s scary during the Drop Kiwi Farms movement. If you have an active Kiwi Farms account, I will not only oh! post your name publicly, but I will find out your employer and forward them your post history. She also posted a picture of Joshua Moon's mother to her timeline, threatening to get her fired from her job, essentially asked her followers to bomb a random building in Ukraine, and she also hired a private investigator to stalk a random Puerto Rican child because she thought he was a Kiwi Farms user. But don't worry guys, we won. Kiwi Farms is no more. The victims of Kiwi Farms, Chloe, David, I did this for you. You may rest in peace. Hold on. Chloe didn't kill herself over Kiwi Farms. She did it as a political statement against the dangers of poverty and mental illness. She literally wrote that in her note. And David's not even fucking dead. She tried to lay these, well, these alleged deaths at Destiny's doorstep because it all ties back to Destiny. Looks like she learned something from the H3 podcast. Blaming suicides on unrelated creators. Yo, Keffels, Ethan Klein wants his move back. <laughs> hey, Keffels, Ethan Klein wants his BMI score back. <laughs> Regardless, this evil site Kiwi Farms that has killed? Killed so many people is gone for good and it's never coming back. Type in kiwifarms.net and oh, it's, it's still there. It's still there.
Shit. Keffels ran the Catboy Ranch, which was a Discord server where a bunch of young children would post sexual messages to one another. That's right, folks. Keffels is a Discord mod. And if you want proof that she did actually run it, here's her admitting it. Keffels sent out callers to her favorite little boys and gave their names to mark them as her property. She was also publicly flirting with a 16-year-old on Twitter. The Twitter account and the Discord were both shut down immediately after Keffels was getting shit for it. So, hmm, I wonder who ran it, lol. Also, these people aren't even femboys. Even on Kiwi Farmers, they put femboy in quotes. Even they know it's not true. If you're trans, you can't be a femboy. It's literally in the fucking name. They're turning all the femboys into women. First they did it in Guilty Gear, and now they're doing it in real life. Keffels for years has been promoting the DIY HRT directory through both her streams and through a link on her Cloudflare provided website. Now, the DIY HRT directory is a wiki that teaches young children how to purchase dangerous chemicals so that they can brew potions in their bathtubs that permanently affect their physiological health and well-being well-being. This is something that Keffels has been unapologetically in favour of for a while now, and this may come off as an offensive opinion, but I believe that anyone who supports injecting children with puberty blockers also believes that you should be able to fuck them. All I'm saying is that logically speaking, if a child could consent to gender reassignment, they can also consent to sex, and we should also be putting them in the military. I want to see kids as young as nine in the military fighting wars, just like the Taliban do. They're the real progressives. Now, the person who runs the site, at Bob Posting, has officially admitted to pink pilling multiple children, which is basically where you approach a child and say, Hey kid, I got some illegal chemicals back here. Wanna try some? Wanna inject some into your bloodstream? She also claims she's gotten a thousand miners hooked on bathtub chemicals. Oh no, four thousand actually. It's just Twitter. It's just Twitter. I'm sure not every trans person is a pedophile. It might be most, but it's definitely not all. It's time for a light-hearted segment where we look at some pictures of Keffels. And before you Keffels fans report the video like you did last time, you little fucker, I'm not gonna make any comments. I'm just going to watch and silently judge. So here's the first picture. Right, next picture. Very good. Very good. Uh, next picture, please. Oh! <laughs> very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. After Destiny created his manifesto on Keffels, a lot of Keffels fans, now exposed to the truth, turned on her. One of these being Jaden, who up until now was Keffels, I believe the official term is, raping boy. Jaden, where art thou, Jaden? What is it? My prostate fell out again, Jaden. I need you to place it back within me. Regardless of the facts and evidence that Destiny showed, however, there are still many loyal followers who refuse to believe anything he says. Why would you believe anything Destiny says? He gave proof? Uh, have you ever heard of Photoshop, idiot? Destiny is a Nazi, and I can prove it. There, see? There he is. According to Chud Logic, when she was in hiding at TwitchCon, she approached Destiny's wife, Melina, shaking in fear, and threatened to get Destiny's YouTube channel banned unless he stopped exposing her. Which obviously he did not. A while ago now, Keffels was criticized by the YouTuber Nikra Kata. In response to this, she asked her followers publicly to file complaints to the Minnesota Bar Association in an attempt to get the man barred from law. Now, these retards didn't read the... I'd say the fine print, but it's very clearly on the front of the fucking piece of paper, which says that the complaint will be forwarded to the defendant, so don't include any information that you don't want him to have. So Nikra Kata now has a series of false complaints made by Keffel's audience to try and ruin his career, with all their personal information on it, names and telephone numbers and addresses. So the dude just fucking names and shames him. He doesn't give out their addresses, only their legal names. One of her followers, Gay Fesh, who's one of the geniuses who gave the dude their own personal information, was crying on Twitter about how Nick was doxing people and should be banned, which is ironic considering who they're supporting. So Nick gets banned off YouTube and Twitch and I wonder who did it. I wonder if the person who constantly brigades others and calls for them to be banned had anything to do with it. Oh, she took credit for it again, just like the last time? This brings us to the greatest ratio of Keffel's entire career. She goes on Twitch to an audience of 400 people. Nick Riccator goes live on Rumble to an audience of 22 thousand people. Damn, 
That's a ratio, fool. Anyway, Nick had his channel reinstated so Keffels can go back to doing what she usually does, like grooming children or not being physically stimulated by pain nor pleasure. She also did porn. Don't worry, I won't show you, but I will read you the description. Sexy post-op tea girl Sky is having a great time playing with her tea girl pussy for you. She has a petite body. <laughs> Nice one. Nice tits and a nice ass. Before I leave, I shall fill you with hope. Her fiance, Alex, he left her. Round of applause for Alex, everybody. I'm proud of you, bro. I'm proud of you. A lot of men wouldn't do that. They would have tormented themselves by sticking in it, but not Alex. We can bust his balls for even considering marrying the penguin from Batman Returns, but hey, he saw the light. He saw the light before it was too late. And I think that leaves us with a happy message. No matter how much influence she has online, in real life, she's pathetic. Nobody loves her. Nobody will ever love her. She cannot feel any physical sensation. And she's ugly and overweight.